everybody. Welcome to another edition of Todd's Culinary Corner. That's why I'm right here, standing in the corner of my kitchen, where I make culinary things. And today, I'm gonna to be making something plant-based for you, because I've been kind of into that lately. And I'm gonna make something so hearty and so delicious and so warming and comforting that you're never gonna guess that it's vegan. Today, we are making a white bean chili with all those warm, spicy Southwestern flavors, and we're pairing it with a sweet cornbread. Now with the cornbread, I decided not to go completely vegan with it. I used an egg as a binder because, you know, I'm serving this to Jason, and I don't want to give him a potentially dense and or crumbly cornbread. So here we go, guys. This recipe makes about four to six hearty, healthy, mm, delicious servings. So let's get started with that cornbread. Let's go. One cup flour of your choice. One cup yellow cornmeal, one quarter cup sugar, one teaspoon pink Himalayan salt, or you know, just salt, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and whisk that all together. Now, in a separate bowl, combine your wet ingredients. One egg beaten, or you know, if you're vegan, use a flax egg, three tablespoons of honey, and yes, it's glaringly apparent from the lid of my honey container that um, my honey cost $23. I should explain, please do not judge me. It's Tupelo honey, it's very expensive, but it's very worth it because it's very good for you. At least that's what the guy from the farmer's market said. Gosh, it takes a long time for honey to pour out of a tablespoon. One cup unsweetened almond milk. Ooh, here comes the good stuff, melted vegan butter. Slowly pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and whisk them until it's just combined and make sure there are no lumps. Grease a nine inch pan with Pam or butter or whatever you have on hand. I kind of rhymed. Bake at 400 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. Ooh, ah, awkward food zoom. Here are your ingredients. The recipe is easy, hearty, subtly spicy, and tastes like you've been slow cooking it all dang day. One red onion, chopped pretty fine. Six cloves of garlic, smashed with the flat side of a knife and minced. Ooh, look at all that beautiful garlic. I know it's a lot, y'all, but don't be scared. One rib of celery, sliced thin. Okay. Here we go, everybody. Now cook those onions on medium heat until they're soft and translucent, about five to seven minutes. Add a splash of water or broth to the pan and add in your spices. We've got one tablespoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one eighth teaspoon of chipotle powder. And yes, I label the tops of my spice jars. It's a long story, y'all. Anyway, add all that good stuff to your onions and stir for several minutes, allowing the spices to absorb. Now, add your garlic and saute for one minute until fragrant. So, after I finished with the garlic, I took the pot off the stove. Not because you need to do that for the recipe, but because I didn't want to mess up the part of the video where I add in all the other ingredients. Observe. Just dump them in. Five cups of broth. Two seven ounce cans of mild green salsa one cup of corn kernels, one pound of potato cut into one half inch cubes, and of course, the main event, 29 ounces of cannelloni beans, or whatever white beans float your boat. Now, we're gonna let that good stuff simmer uncovered on low-ish for about 40 minutes. All right, guys. So once that chili has finished cooking, you're gonna wanna start seasoning it. I used about two tablespoons of sugar to balance out the sourness of the salsa. I also added about one tablespoon of nutritional yeast to give it that nice burst of like umami flavor. I added just a dash of hot sauce because I wanted it to have just a little bit more heat. And I think I added maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. And really that was about it. That's all it needed. It ended up being just the perfect combination of flavors. I hope you guys make this for yourself. Check it out.
leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Ow!